who will appear at the beautiful Capitol Center, the 1982 wrestling season getting underway in the greater Washington metropolitan area. Scheduled to appear in January on the pro wrestling extravaganza will be the likes of Tony Guerrilla squaring off against Adrian Adonis. Jesse the Body Ventura will meet popular SD Special Delivery Jones. Waiting in the wings as well will be the likes of the Mongolian giant Killer Khan who will square off against Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Then from there, Greg Valentine, the master of the figure four leg lock, hopes to indeed slap that figure four leg lock on his opponent and become the World Wrestling Federation champion at the expense of our next guest, Bob Backlund. This, no doubt, the fervent desire of the Grand Wizard and Greg Valentine. Well, Vince, uh, you know, I know they want the title very, very badly. I know the Wizard wants it back badly, and I know Valentine wants to get it. He's been training for a long, long time. His father uh, had him down in the basement working out with him, showing that figure for a leg lock when he was very young, and he's very good at it, Vince, and if he gets it on me, he would probably walk out of that ring the WWF champion, because there's not too many people, I don't think there's anybody right now that's ever got out of it, so I'd have to admit that if he gets it on me, he would, I would probably have to say that I might have to submit, but I would try to get out of it. There's a way to get out of every hole in professional wrestling. I wouldn't give up uh, until until I knew that I couldn't get out of it. He'd have to convince me that. But I guess the best counter for it is just to stay away from it, keep away from it, and, uh, and wrestle him, and uh, try to defeat the man. And uh, um, I'm looking forward to it, Vince. I know he's a competitor, and I know he's in condition, and he's going to come out there and wrestle me, uh, and not try to come out there and poke me in the eye or uh, uh, jump on me before the bell starts. He's going to come out there and uh, wrestle me and try to get that hold on me. And we're going to find out who the better man is, Vince, whether it's Valentine or myself. So it appears to me that you're looking for a scientific wrestling match, pretty much. I am, Vince. Uh, he's uh, knowledgeable about professional wrestling. And he, he knows his way around that ring. And, uh, and both of us are going to get in there and be competitors, I hope. Thank you very much. Bob back in his commentary. Greg Valentine, our next guest. Mr. Valentine in Washington to be perhaps become the World Wrestling Federation title holder as he meets Bob Backlund in this most auspicious occasion in January. And gentlemen, there's no doubt that at the Capitol Center in Washington, this is the opportunity you've been looking forward to. And this is the one way, and the only way, we'll start 1982 off with a bang by putting the WWF championship belt around the only true champion Greg Valentine, the master of the figure four, who will prove that mastery when he defeats Bob Backlund. Right, Valentine? champ? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. For once and all in Washington, D.C., you're going to see the man. The man that wears the $3,000 robes to the ring. The man that's got class and dignity. And, of course, he is managed by the classiest manager of them all, the Grand Wizard. For two years... Two long years, the phone lines have been burning up. Because, Backlund, your day has come. I didn't come back into this area, and, I didn't, and I'm not coming down to Washington, D.C. to be beaten by the All-American boy. I came down to put you in that suplex, to put you in the most devastating hold of all, the figure four leg lock, and to tear your left leg off. Yes, the spin and toe hold, the figure four, and the world championship in Washington, D.C. is going to be mine, you understand? Mine, the man, Greg Valentine, the man with class, the man that deserves to have that belt. Greg Valentine and the Grand Wizard of Wrestling, we now direct our attention to no doubt one of the most phenomenal athletes you will ever see in any sport. Here with us now, Tony Atlas, Mr. USA, against that monster, that Mongolian. He's coming right at you. That's right. You know, Kong, I, I took a large study of Killer Kong, and I, I wonder what Kong do with all of his money. You know, the man been wrestling main event for a long time, and I never seen him in a new suit of clothes or anything. So I put two and two together and decided, oh, Freddie Blassie is taking all this money. I wouldn't be surprised if Freddie Blassie take all the $1,000 bills and give Killer Khan the $1 bills, because Blassie just that kind of dude come out here with gold and diamonds all over his hands and everything. Did he tell Khan to go in the ring and hurt somebody? Well, Khan, you are not going to hurt me, brother, because in Washington, we're going to get down. 